before we start today's review, as we are approaching Black Friday and Cyber Monday for 2019, our friends at iMU will have some big discounts across the entire range of cameras. I have reviewed two of the cameras in the past. I will leave a link in the description box below if you want to watch them. Throughout the review, I will also leave pop-up cards. I really like how easy the cameras are to set up and how well they work with the app and of course, they have great image quality. So if you're looking for indoor or outdoor security cameras for your home or your business, check the links out in the description box below. Now on with today's review. Welcome to Grumpy Man's Reviews. Today we're reviewing the IMU Ranger 2 indoor security camera. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I have reviewed two other cameras of IMUs and they're really easy to link up with the app. So in this video, I'm not going to show step by step how to link up with the app. It's easy anyway because if you go to the App Store or the Play Store, you download the IMU app and then from there you just set email up and password and then you're good to go. But if you do want to see step by step how that works, check the IMU lock video out, be able to see the full step by step guide on that video. Because the app is the same and it works the same way, apart from this will have two different features because it's got the pan and tilt and it's got the privacy mask setting. But I will of course show you but I won't be going through details so I'll be just plugging it on and showing you how it works. New users get one month free of cloud storage. However, if you decide to keep the cloud storage, you will have to pay for a subscription charge. The camera does accept up to 256 GB of micro SD card. That does not come included, you have to buy your own. This device does also work with Amazon Alexa. Okay, let's see what's what. So you get some paperwork, you get a quick start guide, you get a template if you want to mount the camera. You get a bracket, what would fit underneath the camera when you mount it. You get some screws and some fixtures there for mounting it. You get a micro USB cable. You get a power adapter. And the camera itself. So at the front there, it's got some IMU branding. This does, of course, rotate 360 degrees. When you lift it up, you've got your reset button and you've got your micro SD card port there. That's the lens. It's got a mic there because this has got two-way audio. You could use it as a baby monitor as well. At the top there, it's got a light. It'll go through red, blue and green when it's ready to pair up. At the back, it's got an Ethernet port. So you don't have to use it by Wi-Fi only. You can use it via Ethernet port as well. If you want a stronger connection, you've got the micro charging port there to give it power. You've got a speaker there. At the bottom, there's your QR code. When you're setting up the app, we'll ask you to scan your QR code and you can find it at the bottom there. It's got four rubber feet at the bottom. So if the camera is placed there, when you move it, it's quite sturdy that, so it won't fall off. I do like the design of this camera. It's nice and small. It looks like one of them Airwick air fresheners. Quite nice. Okay, let me power it on now and then I'll take you through the app. I've just signed into the app. Now I will put some power into the camera. There we go. You can see the red light there. It will scan around first. Once it's done that, you could go to the art camera. Apologies, my screen's a bit broken. Go to art camera. They started to say, scan the code. Scan it. Oh, let that do its thing first. It's going up. Okay. So if I pick it up, scan it at the bottom there. There we go. Model Ranger 2, yeah. Next. It's connected. It's done. Is there a green light flashing? Yep. Yeah. As you can see, there's a green light flashing there. Tick. Next. Turn the volume up. I'll come back after this bit around it saying add successful. Or you could you could change the name and store it like you need your front room, backyard, garage. It's quite good that actually. Free cloud storage later on. And there we go. So if I click on this, very Firmware update, let me do that. I've updated the firmware. Everything's registered now. There we go. So that's what it's viewing now. So really quickly, I'll take you through the app. At the bottom here, it's got pan and tilt feature I was on about. So if you go up, you can see there, it's changing. Go down. And you can, of course, rotate as well.
you can either tap it or you can just keep your finger on it and it will rotate around. Just say you're happy with it then, you don't want to rotate it, you can cancel that as well. Got your screenshot, that's the speaker which I won't do now because we're quite close to it. Record that snapshot, so say if someone is in your house, if you take that snapshot, that will save a picture on your mobile device. The recording will also get saved on your mobile device, which is really handy. So if someone is in your house, you've got evidence there to show to the police. You've got your pause there that you, if you've got more cameras, you can view them by clicking the button next to the pause. If your internet isn't as strong, you could go to standard definition or high definition. I had it on high, I've changed it to standard, I've changed it back. The speaker that's muted at the bottom and that will turn the screen around. So you can watch everything in landscape mode, like so. Motion detection notification, which is excellent. It's working. And you can share it as well. So anyone else in your family that has the iMU, you can share the app with them. So they can also view, but they can't change anything apart from yourself because you are the main admin cancel that that's to back out of course out of there the gear cog there if i click on that this is the information about ranger 2 device features it's got your notifications there then it's got arm settings motion detection apologies that's the news uh, human detection i don't know how it does this but this is really clever it i was really impressed with this when i seen it on the q2 so it can if you're if you've got your pets walking around it won't set an alarm off but if a human comes in it will straight away push a notification to your phone to let you know that there's a human there smart tracking of course when you're on that wherever you move around or anyone moves around the camera will follow along but at the moment it's off so i'm really leaving it off you've got your arm settings there when you click on that uh, as i've explained in my other videos you could set the day and time what time you want to arm it so if you've got a business or something and you go to work nine to five and after that you want to arm it you can arm it after that detection sensitivity detection region setting there you go so that all three cameras have this and i'm happy this has got it as well motion detection so everything that's orange now is being detected i could press save and it will detect anything that goes past there it'll send me a notification i've got the abnormal sound settings so if you were to click that and then you could do the alarm linkage how that works is if you've got your children running around it's it's okay but if he hears like say breaking glass hears the smoke alarm or anything it will push you a notification straight away the q2 or have that as well I'm really impressed with that. That's a really good feature to have. You've got your cloud storage, but I haven't got anything on that at the moment, obviously. Local storage, that will show you what's stored on your SD card. Camera shielding, that's a good one, that. So the camera will stay on and look like it's working, but if you're up to hunky-punky or whatever, you know, you don't want the... Or if you watch one of them spy videos where they say everyone's spying on you, and if you have it at your workplace, you could turn it off while you're there, and when you're not there, you can turn it off. The, the lens will go off, so, but it looked like the camera is still on, but the lens will be off. So, good feature. I have never seen that in a home security camera before or outdoor security, and I've reviewed many on my channel. Microphone, of course, is on. You could encrypt it. I'm leaving that off. Share device, same as before. Network is telling me, obviously, it's on the 2.4 gigahertz. It does run on the 2.4 gigahertz, but I've labeled TP Link 2.4G so I don't get mixed up because I have the 5G as well. It will work on the 5, but the 2 is good because it works on the far range more. So the IR, the light there, if you can see, that it's got that green light there. You could turn that off if you want, so you don't have to have that on, you know, if you don't want people to know that you've got a camera there because this can just fit in on your bookshelf or anywhere without people knowing that it's an actual camera. Camera image flip. So if you were to mount your camera upside down, make sure you do come in the app and flip the camera around or else your f image will be upside down. You've got time zone, date format and reboot. Back out of there. And you can of course delete the account, but you wouldn't want to do that. There you go, my friends. That was a quick look at the IMU Ranger 2 home security camera. Night quality is really good on this camera and of course the day one as you've seen here now well I've got my studio lights on but overall it's a fantastic camera as I mentioned at the start of the video iMU will have some big discounts on for Black Friday and Cyber Monday if you are in the market for 
indoor or outdoor security cameras i can recommend these highly they're really simple to use once you download the app it tells you step by step how to actually connect the camera they work really well together the app and the actual camera and it's got so much features for the price plus they record in the h.265 kodak which is a higher quality kodak but it takes up less room all in all, I think their products are really good. My friends, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you found the video useful, do give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time, you do consider subscribing. I upload different product reviews every week. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.